we started with a very small group of co-founders, the three of us sitting around a table talking about the quality of our, our food, the quality of our produce in our grocery stores. We get food that comes in from Spain, from Mexico. The number of miles that that food has to travel and the quality is not the best. When we talked to a few community members, a lot of them said, this is what Dauphin needs. Everyone worked together at all levels of government as well as local community to make this project work. What it means for the community and for Central Canada is local year-round vegetable production, which is a massive game changer. It's quite a learning curve, you know, working with our team here locally who's never built a greenhouse before. And we really wanted to find the experts in the world to work with on this. And so GACON, NetFM has brought a wealth of experience and knowledge to the project. We're able to bring a full turnkey solution to the greenhouse market, meaning we can start with the early stages of planning, feasibility studies, business planning, detailed designs, engineering, building the greenhouse, and then even post-harvesting. If you look at the total world, we are growing, growing, growing. There are more people, more people, and we need to use less water, we need to use less resources to come up with more products. And a greenhouse is a perfect way to cope with those challenges. With greenhouses, you're able to save 80% of the land. So you can plant the same size land and produce five times more produce, which will give you more outputs at the end of the day, and then you have more profits. The technology that's in this facility is really state of the art. So the level of controls, the automation in the space is quite complex. We actually monitor the outside humidity, temperature, sunlight, wind, all of these types of weather parameters are things that we monitor outside the greenhouse and inside the facility as well. And what we do is we then use the structure itself and all of the components that we have inside to control the space for the plants. We can close or open our screens, we adjust our fans, we open the vents in our roof structure. There are a lot of things we do to actually control the space for the plants. We're able to collect all the melted snow and the rainwater that falls on top of the roof and then reuse it again to irrigate the plants inside the greenhouse. When we have a lot of humidity because of the plants, any condensation that accumulates on the inside of the glass, we bring that back to our tanks as well. So condensate water from the inside as well as any water on the outside, we collect all of that and use that for the plants. We're also collecting every drop of water that the plants don't use as much as possible. Based on our estimates, we actually anticipate using about 50% of the required irrigation water for the crop from collected water on the site. Some of the other benefits that we have within this greenhouse, we have the boiler system. We use that to heat the water and heat the greenhouse in the wintertime, but at the same time, we're able to capture all the CO2 from those boilers and then supplement that inside the greenhouse to the plant, which will add more yield to the plants and produce. Combining the efficiencies of all the systems together, the roofing system, the screening system, the heating system, the water system as well too, you're able to achieve 50% energy efficiencies. So you're able to run your systems at half capacity to achieve the optimal climate for the plants. One of the big goals for Vermilion Growers is to work with our province, work with our government and our community to allow our community to develop and evolve, not just with a greenhouse, but with the whole idea of education, infrastructure, housing, improving the quality of life for people in the community. We've started a partnership with Assiniboine Community College and starting training programs that will actually be happening here locally in Dauphin and give students the opportunity to actually work in this facility. We'd like to see Manitoba become another hub for greenhouse and horticulture in the world. We are going to be in our first phase of 10 acres. We're employing 30 full-time people and in small rural communities, those 30 jobs have this cascading effect that trickle all sorts of economic growth into our local community. You're not starting a relationship to end it. You start a relationship to build it through into the future. If you look at a location like this and the, and the company for Million Growers, what we really want to realize over here is a solid and healthy growth plan where for Million Growers can make the steps they dream of and we can be their partner for their future phases. We have a really strong financial backbone, so we're able to support our growers and uh, our investors when it comes to building these greenhouses. We're looking to work with the growers and the investors to make this business a success. I am very excited to have the Netifim team on board because of where we're going. 
And I think that with the team that we have on the ground here and the Netafim team, we should be in a good position. I think what's one of the most important things of this project is, is, is not the project itself, it's the, the drive the owners have to build further, to build the community, to realize their dream in growing vegetables on a sustainable way, in a healthy way, and support a local community. That we can be a part of something like that, I'm really proud of.